Hello. Ice here. Play the spire. Let's see, what do we got? I'm not fighting an elite right away. That uh, rare relic for 15 damage is pretty tempting. This path seems kind of generous. And Hexaghost, so the option to fight an extra elite near the end seems good. Yeah, let's get a rare relic. Wing boots. Oh, boy. <laughs> I gotta think about this all over again. Uh, probably still just play to this fire. I don't think I want to hit a shop on the, what, fourth floor? Um... Option of extra fire if I jump here and then still fight two elites. Or maybe I just hold it all for the next act. Possibility of jumping here? For a shop? I guess possibility of extra two fires if I go this way, but that's probably too many fires for how many cards I'll have by then. And that's two wing boots charges. Jumping from like here to here might actually be good. But yeah, I think for now I just uh, click the leave button and get on the map screen proper. Um... Yeah, Wing Boots is unfortunately one of those relics where uh, how much you get out of it is dependent on how good you are at the game. <laughs> uh, so I have an option to kill, but I need to play two defends anyway. If I want to spend all the energy. <laughs> I also only needed one defend. Um... All right. A dagger spray early. Dagger spray does deal eight. Survivor blocks for eight. I think we're definitely making both of those plays. I think I just defend after that rather than push six damage. Strike doesn't do anything. I guess playing the last of those block cards didn't do anything either. Wow, that was a really nice jawworm. <laughs> Take flechettes over Bane? But I'm not confident it was correct. Oh no. I think I'll just get HP here. Make sure to click the enemy encounter that doesn't cost me a wing boots charge. This is a kill that reduces damage more than inflicting weak on the enemy dealing 12. I don't have a kill, I might as well just block. And then hope to draw enough attacks next turn, which I didn't. But I did draw a perfect block and I can Get 12 damage through. Um, I've added two attacks so far. I'll take dodge and roll. Alright, well, at least I get to eliminate someone, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 16. Got him. Concerned about the wizard. Now I'm weak and frail. There's no way we don't play that. Um, I 
I didn't have a kill on the fat gremlin. <coughs> yeah, I kind of expected this to happen if I put off killing the uh, wizard, but... I'm just dead. <laughs> I can't kill either of them. The fact that there were two fat gremlins was kind of a problem, because I was getting weakened no matter what. I don't know, maybe the play was to just go for the Gremlin Wizard turn one, because I was getting weakened and frailed no matter what. I just kind of thought they had a, like another attack they would do and then like the status effects would fall off. <coughs> and it, <coughs> anyway, how much block can I make? 12, that's notably not enough. All right, I'll run it back. So yeah, wing boots, I didn't do anything with it and then I died because I was missing 15 health. <laughs> All right, probably just taking max HP. Uh, I don't think Two question marks are both gonna be non-fights. And I'd have to go through the shop or else it would be three question marks. Yeah, what is my path gonna be? Looks like unless I wanna fight the burning elite, best I can do is two elites if I'm prioritizing elites. I go through one of these shops, fight both of these, and then get some campfires near the end. Seems fine, if a little unexciting. Because actually, if I go this way, it's three question marks and only one guaranteed fight. Because I'm basically swapping out this shop node. Or no. Compared to this path, I'm trading this for this, sort of. And then the shop, you know. Then I'll take the, the enemies have low HP. I'm gonna try it. That's where that thought was going. Get dagger spray. Got some upgrades. Disagree with the serpent. Do I get the free elite? Um, what's the boss this time? You. I'll take deadly poise. Oh, should be thousand cuts. Obviously, I haven't built into much of anything yet. Yeah. It was the card that was gold. And I don't play with Thousand Cuts a lot. I think I'm not good at recognizing when it's good. Very tempting to take footwork. But I should probably remove a card. Mickey Strike with... Nothing but the default synergy. <laughs> Only potion I can grab is Blessing of the Forge. Am I headed for another shop later in the act? No. Could be dodge and roll. But like, I can probably find a dodge and roll. I think I'll leave. All right, good fight. Sneko Skull. Play dance. Even, let's see, if I get, if I have Thousand Cuts in play and I draw Blade Dance, then Blade Dance plus adds one damage. 
Or, well, five. <laughs> Thousand cuts plus adds six. So I guess I upgrade Thousand Cuts, but like, early in the fight, Blade Dance Plus is better. You don't necessarily draw a Thousand Cuts turn one. Yeah, actually I'll upgrade Blade Dance. Not a bad turn one, although I would have preferred to not draw the Neutralize so I could draw it later. Possibility of Liquid Memories on Neutralize. I mean, I'm not going to play any defensive cards this turn, so... Hmm. <laughs> Definitely play the Strike Plus. I just shuffled. I can't liquid memories back anything. I don't think I'm playing the regular defend. But I think I play the defend plus. Ah. Was, uh, hoping to draw the blade dance plus here. <laughs> I mean, it's probably just triple defend. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, unless I... I'm still dead. <laughs> exact damage. I thought the defense would perform better while he was weakened. I know I was vulnerable, though. Alright, one more run. <laughs> This is reminding me of how the last silent video went. I've completely forgotten how to play the silent. Not really a fan of the paths being offered to me. I go up here, then I'm forced... Oh, wait, I could dodge the second elite. I was going to say, forced into two elites, and this is the only fire. If I go for this elite, I'm definitely fighting a second elite. Actually, it would be a third elite by then. <coughs> and I get a fire in one of these spots. The coughing hasn't been too disruptive to the video. I'm still kind of messed up from the, uh... Not California. Canada. Wrong, wrong place beginning with CA. Uh, the, the wildfire. I'm down in Pennsylvania, but it came down. Uh, yeah, I guess I go up here and fight this. Max HP this time. Oh, wait, that last card should have been the defend. Get okay, crippling cloud. Gold. Not bad. Alright, I don't have a kill here. But I should be setting up one.
Jets. I think I say yes and then go this way. Flechettes plus, that's a good hit. a little short on damage. But got him. Skills? I hit them. Only two skills in the opening hand where I get a big draw. It's kind of disappointing. Crippling Cloud Survivor. We're dead. I have a lot of dazes. Oh, should have probably targeted the middle one if I wasn't gonna think about exact turns because it's the one with less health. Surprising given the days is Lachette's is not going to be very good this battle. I mean, could have been better on turn one. And I'm dead. Again. <sighs> Did I say that was the last try? Because we're only 17 minutes in. Alright. Go up here. Take a more normal route. Okay, that's three elites. But there's a campfire between each one. Start out going this way. Uh, that's not enough regular fights before the first delete, though. Unless I'm gonna hope to roll both question marks into not a fight and go for the. E. I think I take this. Like this turn, <laughs> I just get to attack. All right, not bad. Take a predator. Remove transform upgrade. I will transform a strike. Bouncing flask. Well, there's one elite that I would hope to get with bouncing flask in my deck. Explosive Potion is good against the others, though. That should have been Bouncing Flask over Predator. Guard draw is cool, though. Got well laid plans.
Definitely playing the neutralize. I'll be bouncing flask over predator, although I can hold the predator for next turn. This does mean it doesn't get included in the shuffle. I guess instead of playing the defend, I could have played strike explosive potion, but I think the explosive potion is more valuable against any of the elites this act. Got piercing whale. Some defense. The one that's buffing. <coughs> All right, got him. Wraith form. I will click on the Wraith form and upgrade it. I th Maybe I need more damage before I can really upgrade the Wraith form. You okay. Play the well-laid plans, then look for Bouncing Flask. Uh, nothing else I play actually does anything. Bit of a hit here. I could have probably let the Wraith form reshuffle and then used it a couple turns from here, especially with Predator drawing extra cards. Oh, that should have probably been Bouncing Flask. Okay, good, I redrew it. I was just thinking, I gave up on holding the Wraith form exactly at the wrong time, huh? Fortunately, the RNG decided to forgive me for once. Maybe I should have just blocked that. Save the one health. Toxic egg. Cloak and Dagger plus. I will smith the Wraith form. I think that should help with Gremlin Knob significantly. The Boot! Plus one damage on each Shiv. Plus two on Neutralize. Hey, it's Gremlin Knob. Go well laid plans, bouncing flask here, and then hold the wraith form. Huh. I think I probably wraith form next turn. Oot. So now I've got like two turns to deal a bunch of damage. And I'll, I'll take the ones. Just to make sure I get my damage in. All right, very good gremlin knob. Take after image. 
Oh yeah, after image is very nice with Wraith form. Means you can even like get rid of the chip damage without playing a real block card. Backflip plus is very tempting though. I don't have card draw besides Predator, which costs two and has delayed on it. Hmm. Just thinking, am I strong enough to go greedy for another upgrade? <laughs> it won't be Gremlin Knob. Although, honestly, I think the worst elite I could encounter out of the three with this deck would be, um, entries. Or whatever the triple encounter is called. I think I'll get HP here. Uh, we don't need to go as greedy for upgrades because I got an early toxic egg. Okay, it's just you again. I would like to get my powers in play. Or at least get one of them in play. <laughs> not, not the Wraith form. Hmm. Bouncing Flask is on the bottom this time, huh? You were waking up anyway. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> well. Um... I'm not going to play the Wraith form until the second cycle, so I'd rather it shuffle now. I think I still let it discard. Oh wait, I should have saved something though. Do I defend to block three effectively, or do I play a strike? I strike. None of these cards matters next turn, but I'll hold the survivor, I guess. Predator, strike. I'm going to play the neutralize this turn because I'm holding Wraith form. Bouncing Flask. Oh yeah, the boot! Boom. I think I would have had the kill with anyway, but... But the boot. Strawberry is solid. Catalyst plus... I added three defensive cards already. Before, I guess, after image is also defensive. I was thinking about whether I needed a Deflect Plus. Now, maybe Glass Knife is still correct, but uh, there's a Catalyst Plus there. I, I hope that argument was compelling. <laughs> there is Catalyst Plus. I don't have a lot of poison in the deck, but like... I have enough for the catalyst to be worth including. Bouncing Flask is kind of a lot of poison at a time. Um, thinking I have full potion. I could just strike explosive. Actually, wait. 5 plus 9 is already enough. Poison does work on the turn you apply it. Acrobatics plus seems fine. Honestly, with Toxic Egg, I wonder if fights are better than question marks right now. Opportunity to click on skills that have pluses on them. And opportunity to get gold for future shops. I don't know, maybe, maybe someone else could evaluate it better, but I'm going to click on the fight. <laughs> uh, 9, 27, that doesn't actually split them.
and just go defensive here. Oh, that was a bad split. Perhaps doing math would have been a uh, good play to make there. It only blocked one more than playing the defend, but it blocked one more than playing the defend. <laughs> Take two to deal a bunch. I mean, Wraith Form just seals the deal on the battle, and I don't even take any because of after image. Got him. Flex Potion. I think against Slime Boss that performs better than Explosive. Okay, we'll take the Prepared Plus. Helps cycle the deck. Uh, more Poison, considering I have a Catalyst Plus. Nice, drew it turn one. See, even if I drew into, uh, uh, well laid plans with acrobatics, I wouldn't be able to play it right now. Maybe I should have, like, drawn first, but I instead opted not to draw. Alright, 33 puts you at 96. I just barely don't get a split like this, huh? Which is exactly what I want. Oh wait, I mismathed. Never mind, we are in the worst world. Uh... Although it's still like, fine. So far at least. Play the prepared just to uh... Get one more block with after image. Um, and I got a wraith form, huh? <laughs> Actually, wait. You split at thirty seven. Predator neutralizes a split. And then I can still play a defend. Or actually, Predator Strike neutralize the other one. Uh, does not block more damage. Fear Potion Predator? Like I never use Fear Potions that well. Oh wait, I'm frail. I'm gonna strike over blocking for three. Okay, if I'm gonna flex potion, this actually isn't that good a turn for it on account of... Uh... You know. <laughs> That one got very poison. Huh. Angry.
pick one to... Actually, wait, this gets the split. I'm just setting up the worst possible splits of all time for this whole battle, huh? out of the act. <laughs> act one can be beaten. <sighs> Probably not second after image. Venom might be okay with a uh, catalyst, but if I had more card draw, then Storm of Steel would be more tempting. Or if, like, if I already had Invenom. I'll take the Invenom. I'll go Blackstar. Alright, with 400 gold, I definitely want to hit up a shop. Far left after that. Oh, I could go to this shop to get an earlier shop and then take a bunch of question marks on my way up. Act 2's question marks has the, uh, simplicity event. Uh... They do die next turn if I catalyst them. I think I take a bunch of damage here. And then we, uh, Wraith form. Wow. <laughs> uh, I guess they're getting away unless I strength potion for the kill. Because, yeah, I'm one damage off. If I neutralize and then strike... Wait, no, I can invent them to get the last damage. The boot promoted the damage to five from three after block. <laughs> How funny. Use, like, card draw. Can I? Um, I, I mean, I would take any, like, uh, what's it called? Blade Dance? Noxious Fumes is, of course, pretty positive with Catalyst. Escape plan plus seems solid. Uh, I don't think I'm looking at Chemex or Warpaint. Warpaint is guaranteed to hit defense. Oh, or the Piercing Whale. Let's see, can I grab everything I want? I'd take a card remove over escape plan, but I think I can at least click on these and then see what gold number is left. Because, yeah, this is just a little over 300 together, and then this is no, not going to go over 400. But, yeah, I'm definitely not getting the escape plan. Oh, who's the boss, by the way? I think I like that boss with this deck. Is form 2? Might get upgraded cards. I did. But Terror Plus isn't very good. Um, I mean, <laughs> it makes Predator deal more damage. It doesn't make Neutralize deal more damage. One extra damage on each shiv. 
But maybe we'll take more shivs. Knowing skull. Uh, I think I'm always getting HP at this campfire. I will grab one potion. Oh. All right, it's you. Oh, right, need to discard two. Actually got a dexterity. Uh, that's a flask catalyst. Got him. Blur plus, leg sweep plus. Leg sweep. Some HP. Leg sweep is a better duplication target, possibly. Hmm. Uh. Fishing whale seems very solid here. And I think I will avoid the debuff. Uh, yeah, I don't have another way to get the kill. If I had, like, if I had the strike in hand, it could have been cloak and dagger strike. Terror on the boss seems fine. And Venom's looking pretty sad at this point, honestly. sweep. Uh, I should have stacked the weakness on the boss because I was going to have enough block anyway. Oh boy. Uh... I don't think I can really play that this turn. Moving 11 damage seems good. Ow. Uh, let's see. Wraith form should let me stall until I can get a nice catalyst, possibly with duplication potion. Still taking four this turn. Bouncing Flask, and there's Catalyst. Well, for this turn, I Cloak and Dagger. Hey, you got Dex. Like he's summoning on all the worst turns for me. I can't target the bouncing flask.
Wow. Uh. I think I'm just dead because I didn't draw a catalyst. Although, would that have even done it? Um, if I triple and then triple again, that's just times nine. I would deal 72 with a doubled catalyst. And then if I still had the energy to also play Cloak and Dagger, uh, then that would have finished them off. <sighs> well, GG. Yeah.